we know in occupational health psychology um, through our training, it is much more effective to not expose people to stressors than to expose them to stressors and then hope that they can deal with them or when they don't deal with them, then try to treat the outcomes. And so I think here's like a one week break, go deal with your burnout and then come back is like the worst example of that third level of like we've exposed them to the stressor they haven't now officially like failed to uh, cope with all these stressors and have negative health outcomes because of it and so then we try to treat it but not even really well we're just saying take a week off and figure it out yourself um, and then come back and expect it to all be hunky-dory um it's, would not recommend. Um, let's go to the root of the cause. Like, why are we causing burnout? And I think, you know, one of the main things is overload, right? People are being asked to do a lot of work for probably not a lot of pay, right? That we're investing a lot of resources in um, our jobs, but they aren't necessarily being invested back in us, right? And um, I think one of the, I don't want to say easiest way, because that makes it sound like a, um, a simple solution, but is expand your workforce and like redesign our jobs and really go back to how can we make these jobs not cause burnout? And I know it's a challenge because human um, capital is never listed as an asset, right? It's only ever listed as an expense. And so if you're reporting to shareholders, you're reporting to the board, um, any investment in uh, people in the short term looks just like a cost. Um, and saying like, okay, well, we have this really small cost of giving our employees a week off is palatable, um, but saying, okay, but we expanded our, res our uh, workforce um, by double, right? Or even by half um, is maybe not a palatable expense when you don't see it also listed as an asset. And so I think a, a huge change that needs to happen societally, and like this is again, <laughs> a really hard thing to do is re, think how we think about employees and how we think about them as assets rather than just expenses. And that I think is going to be a much more effective way to treat burnout than just giving people a week off. That's not, that's not the, uh, the best way to handle that.